الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ووصينا الإنسان بوالديه إحسانا حملته أمه كرها ووضعته كرها وحمله وفصاله ثلاثون شهرا حتى إذا بلغ أشده وبلغ أربعين سنة قال رب أوزعني أن أشكر نعمتك التي أنعمت علي وعلى والدي وأن أعمل صالحا ترضاه وأصلح لي في ذريتي إني تبت إليك وإني من المسلمين أولئك الذين نتقبل عنهم أحسن ما عملوا ونتجاوز عن سيئاتهم في أصحاب الجنة وعد الصدق الذي كانوا يوعدون والذي قال لوالديه أف لكما أتعدانني أن أخرج وقد خلت القرون من قبلي وقد خلت القرون من قبلي وهما يستغيثان الله ويلك آمن إن وعد الله حق فيقول ما هذا إلا أساطير الأولين أولئك الذين حق عليهم القول في أمم قد خلت من قبلهم من الجن والإنس إنهم كانوا خاسرين ولكل درجات مما عملوا وليوفيهم أعمالهم وهم لا يظلمون بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful السلام عليكم and good evening Honorable guests, families and friends, dear colleagues and debate graduates it's my great honor to welcome all of you to the second eighth grade graduation for the class of 2020 at Tibeti. I am Umar Farooq, the lower school assistant principal, and I'm delighted to be part of this dignified and special event. It's my great pride to serve as the MC for our divergent graduation e-ceremony during these distinctive times. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored today to have our chairman of the board, Dr. Arthur Taylor, along with the other members of the board. We are greatly thankful to all for your time today. And now I would like to welcome the Debeki senior leadership team. Thank you all. And now I would like to welcome our faculty and staff. This year is different and it was full with challenges. It will be remembered in the history as one of the most challenging year of mankind. We are extremely proud that our teachers and staff did a great job through these difficult times. So job well done, and inshallah, together we will overcome all these challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, and now it's time. Please welcome grade eight, class of 2020. Welcome all. Now let's stand for the Qatari National Anthem, followed by the American Anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. Respected guests, I'm truly honored and privileged to have had the opportunity to work with such a unique group. And what I mean by unique is being only one of its kind. Unlike anyone else, each one of my students have something to offer to the society and to this world we live in. My students, you just need to find what it is. Dear students, you must challenge yourselves and those around you to do better, be better, because you are better. Your participation and achievements in different academic and extracurricular activities were great. And we greatly cherish and appreciate all of that. So I, as well as your teachers and the distinguished guests joining us today, we all know that the potential is there. And Debeke's mission is to prepare you to compete, lead, and succeed in the global society, to make this world a better place. As your assistant principal, my dear students, I challenge you to be responsible enough to fix the little things that seem to hinder you from being and doing your best. Be respectful enough to always say, thank you. And I appreciate that. All of those who help you to reach those different milestones in your life. So who deserve your thank you more than your parents and teachers? Dear graduates, please give a round of applause to your parents and teachers. Thank you. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. John Quincy Adams. It's my distinct privilege to introduce to you our keynote speaker today, our Honorable President and Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Virginia Forrest. Presenting to you, Dr. Forrest, please. Thank you, Mr. Umer. Congratulations, eighth grade. I'm really proud of all of you for what you have accomplished. You have overcome the challenges of mastering online learning which means that you are ready to take on new challenges of education and of high school. I know this last few months of social distancing caused by the coronavirus has been difficult, but you have proven that you are able to adapt and continue to improve yourself. You are now entering the stage of life where you are becoming young adults. In addition to new skills and knowledge, you will be challenged at a higher level of academic and social commitments, but I know you're ready. You proved that when I saw you interact with astronaut Nicole Stott. Your questions and responses were thoughtful, educated, and stimulating. I know you will continue the Socratic method of challenging yourselves, your fellow classmates, your teachers, and lead other students to become better. Thoughtful questioning is a tool that will enhance every academic exercise. Learn to explore every aspect of a subject to understand why, where, what, and how things occur and are relevant to our community and ourselves. And through this process of engaged interactive learning, you will continue to grow, develop skills of lifelong learning, and most importantly, know yourself. You will clarify who you want to become through this knowledge, and more importantly, what you want to contribute to make this world a better place. Today is not the end of your academic learning, but simply marks the initiation of your journey into higher learning. You will now enter a new world of leadership and academic fun. Yes, a lot of fun. 
High school for me was perhaps my most memorable time in life. It was a time when I truly began to test myself and develop the leadership skills that have helped me become who I am today. High school was the place that tested me and helped me define who I could become. It was through a process of learning that I obtained the foundational abilities that helped me perform as an adult. I learned from everyone, especially my parents, teachers, and coaches. All of them pushed me to do better. In the classroom, I learned how to question academically. My coaches taught me teamwork, perseverance, and discipline. My parents instilled faith, integrity, and values of good character. This transformation will be yours too. Please thank your teachers, your parents, and others who have helped you. Know that their support will continue. I am certain that you too will be tested and grow in strength of mind and ability so that you can transform your dreams into action that one day will make you the next great leaders in many fields of life. As you grow and learn, I'm confident that you will become the leaders of transformation, how we live, work, play, and explore. You will become the next astronauts, the next scientists, researchers, doctors, engineers, and presidents who create change for the good of all of us. I cannot tell you how proud I am of each and every one of you and how happy I am that you are ready to enter this next phase of our lives, a phase filled with wondrous meant to create your global citizenship and leadership, a phase of fun, memories, and happiness. I wish you all the very best, grade eight class, and congratulations once again. Thank you, Dr. Paris. Family, friends, and colleagues, let's now celebrate and pay tribute to the hard work and the efforts of our graduates of 2020. Starting from Abdullah Garai, Abdurrahman Ibrahim, Abdul Jalil Zakaria, Abdullah Al Sada, Abdullah Al Suwedi, Abdullah Iradi, Abdullah Khalil, Adam Udwan, Ahmed Al Zubedi. Ahmed Al Noor, Ahmed Hansen, Al Mutanna Shukri, Amna Ali, Amber Sadullah, Asma Sakib, Atasha. Petnas, Aya Al Zubedi, Iman Al Salus, Gabriela Davis, Jana Salim, Hamza Al Halabi, Hana Tantawi, Hanin Said. Iman Nasser, Lana Zaid, Layan Abadullah, Lina Altum, Lina Hussein, Lina Suleiman, Mahmoud Awad. Maya Zerka, Momen Kilani, Muhammad Mahmoud, 
Muhammad Shams, Muhammad Abdullah, Muhammad Al Abanati, Muhammad Atif, Muhammad Jamil, Muhammad Kabar, Naufil Abdullah, Umar Usman, Redwan Ahmed, Sana Al Hamidi, Sofia Al Umri, Sultan Al Mahmud, Tamim Al Suwedi, Tariq Al Azizi, Yaqub Al Mas. Yasmin Sharif, Yusuf Ashkanani, Yusuf Muhammad, Zakaria Abdussalam, Zaid Al Havari, Haya Al Hashim, Abdullah Al Jafri. Ahmed Al Khalaf and Muhammad Yaqub. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my pleasure to present the graduating class of 2020. At this moment, I would like to call our Chief Teaching and Learning Officer, Mrs. Nasreen Sabetha. Please, Mrs. Nasreen. You are now officially members of the upper school and eligible to enter as freshmen in high school. You may move your tassels from right side to the left side. Congratulations to our graduating class of 2020. You may throw your caps on a count of three. Are you ready? One, two, and three. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Sreen. Be compassionate, be concerned for your fellow men. Do everything you can to help people. Dr. Michael E. Tepeki. Beautiful words that have a very deep and powerful meaning coming from a pioneer of the century. Talking about one of the major core value that we truly cherish at Tebeki High School, compassion. I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone, and especially the senior leadership team, and many regards to Tebeki teachers and staff for all their continued support. Congratulations one more time to our Tebeki students, and best of luck in your future journey. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Stay safe.